guys look how cute this cat is at the airbnb i'm staying at yes you're so cute you're so cuddly okay i need to get ready now Ugh. It's only been 31 minutes and I already have to pee. Tiny bladder problems. Ah! I just realized that I don't think I ever properly introduced the vlog. So hello everyone. I hope you are all well. Um, welcome to another video. So, if you haven't been keeping up with me, I'm currently on a road trip, and I'm driving, and I just spent the last two days in Seattle, Washington, and now I am heading down to Portland to stay with my friend Ella for the next few days. And I rented a car because from between Seattle and Portland is Mount Rainier, and I've heard it is absolutely beautiful, and I've really wanted to try to go on a hike there. So that's actually where I'm heading now. I'm going to go there try to do a hike for like three to five hours and then head down to Portland. It's a little bit out of the way, but I know it's going to be worth it. So right now we're just heading there. According to my GPS, we should be there in about two hours. That doesn't count my multiple bathroom stops that I'm going to have to take though. So we shall see. And yup, that's where we're at right now. All right, cue the music. We have officially made it into the park. And I just stopped for another bathroom break. And it says like, I have about 45 more minutes of driving until I get to the visitor center where I think the trail that I wanted to go on will be. Look, honestly, even if something doesn't work out and I can't go hiking, just look at this gorgeous road. Like I wouldn't even mind if I just had to drive for like an hour out here just to see this, it's so peaceful and serene. Okay, so I just went to the visitor center and got a um, very official looking detailed geographic map of where I need to go. Yup. You know, whatever, there's a decent amount of people here. I don't think I'm gonna get terribly lost and hopefully I don't run into a bear or something. But the only issue is that it's kind of cold and so I don't really have a winter jacket. So I just decided to wear a lot of layers. T-shirt, layer two, layer three, four layers. And then I'm gonna use my beach towel thing as a scarf. Yeah, I'm just going to get all my stuff Ready, I'm bringing food and water with me, obviously, and then I'll probably hit the restrooms a third time. And then we'll head out and see some nature. up that hill that I showed you guys earlier and there are like patches that are snowy. So I was taking my time and trying to be really careful and then this wind was blowing pretty hard. So I like stopped for a second just to make sure I had my balance because the trail is like pretty narrow. And then all of a sudden I hear this like paper rustling and I look and there's a yellow piece of paper 
up like flying in the air up to the over the top of the mountain thing and i was like what the heck is that and then i was like oh my god that's my map so basically my map is gone but luckily this is like a pretty well marked trail but it's pretty windy and cold but it's so beautiful Okay, I'm gonna stop for a little lunch break now and I'm having some oatmeal. It's just so beautiful, guys. Isn't it amazing how small and insignificant you are in the grand scheme of things? And like, when you go out into nature and you see all of these giant things and like life that is completely fine without technology and it's abundant and thriving and there are animals that aren't being captured or like abused and I don't know, whenever I go out, I just feel like it always puts it in perspective to me like the earth is not ours to own or possess but we do that as humans anyways and we're like destroying it with our civilizations but like it's just it's so beautiful and really we should just be cherishing it honestly i'm left speechless nature is amazing I'm gonna be driving so I'm not going to be looking directly at the camera but hopefully you guys can understand um, so I left the park a little while ago it was so funny as soon as I filmed that clip saying like I made it back it started to lightly rain it was like perfect timing so yeah I was driving for a bit in the rain and then it started to rain even more and it was incredibly loud and also kind of hard to drive so I didn't really want to film then but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my experience earlier and like getting lost because while I was alone on my hike, I had a little bit of time to think about it. Okay, well I guess I didn't get lost, losing my map, that's what I meant to say. Um, so right now I'm currently reading the book called You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. If you haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out. And if you have access to it, I would highly suggest you read it. It's like weird because it's kind of marketed as like a self-help book, but I just feel like there's so much cool information in there about manifesting your dreams and the law of attraction etc and I think it's a good read for anyone honestly but anyways so yesterday while I was chilling in Seattle I read a chapter that I thought was super applicable to today and it was about fear and she was talking about how fear can only control you if you let it and as soon as I lost my map and like saw it fly over the mountain top I was definitely scared I was just like oh my god because I am person who is not very good at directions and I get lost pretty easily so when I saw my map blowing away I was just like that's like my lifeline to civilization like how am I going to get off of here even though earlier when I talked to the trail guide um, he was like oh the trails are like clearly marked you should be able to find your way or whatever but still I was like about to freak out because I, I'm just the, also the kind of person who likes to plan everything out. You know, I don't really like to leave anything kind of like up in the air. So, but I thought back on that chapter and I was like, okay, I'm not going to let fear rule this decision. And like, I'm on a beautiful hike. The guy said the trail signs are clearly marked. I'm just going to keep on going forward, try to push through and remain calm. Because like freaking out would have been about the worst thing that I could have done in that moment. And honestly, it got worse for a lot of the time 
After my map went away, the wind started picking up even more and my face and hands were honestly freezing. And then the wind was so strong, like I couldn't look straight forward because it was getting into my eye and pebbles were being picked up and like scratching my face and it was kind of burning. But I was still like, you know what, Caitlin, like just relax, stay calm, don't slip on the snow and fall off the side of the mountain and enjoy the beauty of nature. And like, that sounds so ridiculous, but guess what? I got to the top or the highest point and then I turned and the wind died down and I got to a sign and I figured out like the way I was going and even though I didn't have a map telling me exactly where I needed to go I figured it out along the way and made it back all in one piece and that's the thing that like really matters and like I am so glad I didn't get scared and be like oh I should just turn around because I definitely know that path and I'm familiar with that area and I don't want to risk it and like maybe get lost and stranded in the wilderness and I decided you know no like I'm here this is my few hours that I have here I'm sorry it's starting to rain again so I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background or not but I'm gonna keep talking anyways when you have something in your life that scares you or intimidates you you can either face your fear and tell yourself that you are not gonna let that fear rule you or you kind of can miss out on life and just waste your time being afraid and lose out on a lot of experiences that you could have had. And I just think that's so funny coming from me because growing up, I was the kind of person who did not take any risks. And it's still kind of hard for me. And like, even financially, I didn't like spending my money on things. I didn't like going out of my comfort zone. I would have never imagined that right here, I would be taking a trip by myself and I would have hiked a mountain by myself and I didn't freak out when I lost my map. Like that, I would, I would have probably had a panic attack if you told me that two years ago. And I think it's just crazy how much I've matured and grown as a person. And I'm really thankful that I've come to realize that, that, you know, life doesn't wait for you to become unafraid. You have to go out there and kick life in the ass if you wanna have like awesome experiences. Experience is so much more valuable than money or sitting at home feeling safe and secure watching a Netflix show. And I know like I'm very privileged to be able to have this trip and to have saved up money to do it, but I'm just incredibly grateful that I do have this opportunity and I wanna make the most of it. And I'm also really thankful for you guys that I've been able to grow this channel and reach an audience and make so many friends through the internet and like be able to share my experiences with you. And I think that's it. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that and like don't let fear rule your life. Like if you have something that's scaring you, you should figure out a way to conquer that and a few years from now like looking back you'll be like yeah I was awesome. I did that and you're definitely not going to have any regrets. All right. The rain is really picking up to so, like place you guys on the timeline. Right now I am heading to Portland to see Ella and I'm going to be staying with her for the next few days. I am super excited. I'm still about two and a half hours away. I'm just gonna drop my rental car off and then I think I'm going to meet her at a restaurant where we're going for dinner. But I think I'm just going to end this vlog here because I don't really wanna jumble up the days. So I'm just gonna do like uh, my first day in Portland kind of thing and then I will catch up with you guys then. So basically my memory card um, filled up so I got cut off while I was filming the exit for this vlog. But I just wanted to say, like always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you can join the awesome Shoemaker family. That just sounded so lame. I take that back. We're not a Shoemaker family. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye. Oh, I also forgot that I peed another two times before I filmed this, so. Okay, bye for real.